right guys right so guys uh, this is your first demo session basically um, so just before starting the session uh, just let me introduce myself uh, just i don't want to take much time just at two minutes i'm going to take in guys so just i want to give a, a small a brief introduction regarding myself so that you can come to know about like what about uh, my experience and all these things about that okay so this is about myself guys um, this is vamshi krishna guttula uh, i am almost all having around 21 years of experience guys it is 20 so almost all it is closer to 21 years of experience 20 plus you can say that almost all closer to 21 years of experience my all all these 21 years of experience uh, every day that means almost all i can say i was a data expert because I, I worked on various different types of data related technologies and data related tools. Like initially when I started in 2003, uh, almost all I started in 2003 guys, almost like the end of the 2003. So almost all uh, at that time, the very popular technologies is database systems, SQL, PL SQL, Oracle databases, SQL server databases. At that time in 2003, there are huge demand guys. So the companies used to recruit the people who are having the knowledge of database, designating them as a database developers. So nowadays we don't have that much requirements are there on the database developers, but still we have them guys. Even database developers are also there. So, but at the time it's a huge demand. So initially I started with uh, DBMS systems, database management, uh, SQL, PL SQL databases like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, etc. And after that, um, I was also an expertise on database admin, uh, some kind of an admin related task, like how to take the backups, how to restoration the databases, how to make the automation, maintaining security, uh, users, um, it's going to be permissions, high availability concepts like log shipping, database mirroring, clustering, replication. So these are all my database admin related uh, uh, expertise. After that, I, I move to business intelligence, I worked with various business intelligence tools like SSIS, SSRS, SSAS, Cognos, business objects, uh, various reporting tools, various ETL tools and analysis tools I have worked. All are related to data only. After that, I moved to big data. Uh, a couple of years I worked on big data systems like um, Hadoop, Spark, okay, Hive. Uh, these are gonna be some of the uh, big data systems I have been got worked and almost all from 2017. Uh, it's almost all seven and a half years experience on data science, guys. And should, should, and coming to my expertise, I completed one certification program from IIIT Hyderabad. It's a certificate called as Advanced Certification on AI and ML from IIIT Hyderabad. You may be here, you may be aware about IIITs, guys. So it is going to be one of the top um, academies or universities which are related to some IT. So in the information technology. Uh, they are the top guys in the India. It is going to be the top one apart from IITs. IITs are for technology. Triple IITs are basically for information. IT it is going to be there. And I collaborated with various trading academies like Durga Soft. Uh, here I was a consultant trainer for them. And apart from that, not only that, uh, I was as a consultant trainer. I worked on various uh, training academies like uh, Naresh IT, Durga Soft. Uh, Satya Technologies, uh, various technologies, uh, various uh, trading academies, and one of the corporate academy also, which is XLR. If you want, you can check XLR on the online. So XLR as a consultant trainer for um, the business analyst and the data science courses. So I was earlier, I was collaborated with that particular trading academies, guys. So that's it. That is about myself. So, so this is going to be uh, about my myself, guys. So, and apart from that, um, today is your first session. Maybe some of you have the idea. That means, see, you are not experts in data science, isn't it? So you are here to learn. But nowadays, everything is uh, available on internet. So before joining the course, uh, obviously, you may have attended various demo sessions also on various platforms. Or maybe uh, in online also, you have been seen about various videos on the data science, etc. So anyhow, uh, our course is going to be uh, nothing but what I can say that is, it's a full stack data science guys. Uh, the course, uh, the course name is going to be nothing but it is going to be a full stack. So nowadays, uh, everyone is talking about a full stack. So 
for example if you talk about uh, python full stack python there are talking about full stack java full stack ui full stack everywhere there are talking about a full stack so what is this full stack first of all guys full stack is nothing but very simple guys so whenever you are working on a particular technology or whenever you are working on a particular technology or a particular project related technology you should be aware about all the tools and all the techniques or all the softwares which are required to implement that particular technology guys so it's not just like previously earlier it was something different guys for example let us talk about a data analyst projects for example there is a project called as a data analyst or data analysis project so a company is working for analyzing the data for a particular client it's a client data was there so the company uh, have got the project uh, from one client it may be a banking or a telecom or some other uh, it can be uh, a chain of supermarkets or whatever it may be so whenever the company wants to work on data analysis various expertise are required like some one of the expertise are required is going to be like which is going to be database programmers are required so a database developers or a database programmers are going to be required plus along with that some kind of a data visualization uh, expertise are required or some kind of an which is going to be maybe some kind of an which is going to be an excel uh, some kind of an excel expertise are required so previously how the companies used to hire the people is a team of database developers maybe a two members a uh, data visualization experts are going to be maybe two members and uh, an excel expertise is going to be one so totally a five people of team a team of five people used to work in the project so where two are expertised on uh, database programming or a database development two are on the data visualization and one on the excel expertise it was there so all the three people used to work independently maybe first an excel expertise is going to first of all they will clean up the data and after cleaning up the data these database developers will try to extract the clean up data and based on that particular queries this database the data visualization experts so first step is going to be cleaning the data second step is querying the data by the database developer and third step is going to be based on the queries what the database developers are writing data visualizations are creating it's a sequence first clean up the data write the queries and uh, generate the reports so in this case what happens here is for example for some reason this excel expertise was not available for a one week so what happened now the cleaning process will stops because he was not available there he was not available so cleaning process has been stopped if cleaning process stops the database developers are unable to write the queries on that if the being the database developers are unable to write the queries so data visualization experts they cannot work on that so the project almost all the project development has been stopped there for one week of time so why because is the database developer says that the clean data was not clean it has to be done by the excel expertise the what is the data visualization expert says it is uh, without writing the queries by the database developers we can't write them we can't which is going to be extract the data and we cannot generate the reports that's why the companies has state has completely changed their which is their strategy of hiring so there are saying that you need not to be only an expertise in database development in our data analysis project you should be an expertise in database development plus along with that you should also know data visualization skills or also you need to have some kind of an excel uh, knowledge or excel skill set is also required you may not be an expertise in all the three at least you should be knowing knowing about that what is excel what is data visualization what is database developer for example suddenly one data visualization expert was not available what i can do now one of the database developer i can just train him on the data visualization if he's having the concept is if he having the knowledge immediately we can shift one of the database developer to which is a data visualization expert or let us say that if excel expertise is not available one of the data visualization expert i'm going to make him to work on the excel software so the thing is companies are looking for the people who may not be an expertise see everyone may not be an expertise on all the softwares and all the tools but at least which is going to be some tools which are going to be required in a particular project so that is what they are calling it as a full stack so whenever you are working on a full stack you should be knowing about each and every software which 
can be used or which may be a part of your project development. Same as it is in this case also, guys. Earlier, guys, what is meaning of what we used to learn in data science earlier? Earlier, guys, the earlier, that means I remembered earlier, almost all earlier means almost all somewhere around in and around 2018 to 2020, guys, approximately at that particular point of time. 2018 to 2020, almost all data science means only they used to teach machine learning. Only machine learning is only they used to teach, guys. Only machine learning. What is that machine learning? You'll understand it later, guys. We'll, we'll discuss in our main concepts. So as of now, it is not immediately required, guys. It is going to be machine learning they used to teach. That is your data science course. That is the data science course. But after that, the people have started talking about, no, no, it is not only just machine learning. We require all the complete full stack. That means whenever you work in the real applications, what are the different, which is going to be what we can see is, uh, what we can see is, um, you can simply say that uh, we have to work with, that means we want to just want to work with, which is going to be how the basically they want to work with them. So all the different types of tools, whatever that is required. So as of now, they are going to be using a different types of tools and technologies that are using. Almost all at that time, how much time they used to take, guys? Hardly two to two and a half months they used to take it and they used to complete the course. But now it is not like that. Coming to the full stack data science, guys, we are having a multiple areas we are having, guys. Multiple areas, guys. So what are going to be that multiple areas it is going to be and how we are going to be gets working with that particular multiple areas. Let us discuss about this. So it is not only the, uh, not only machine learning, Yes, absolutely to work on full stack data science, mainly the important is going to be ML, machine learning, TL, deep learning, NLP, and a little bit of big data systems. It a little bit of data visualization softwares like Power BI. And apart from that, a little bit, you need not to be an expertise on all these application guys. Mainly you have to be an expertise in this particular, any one of these three areas guys. No need to be an expertise on all the three. All of them is not required, guys. Got the point? All of them is need not to be required, guys. At least just if you can able to. At least if you can just able to do that, only just ML, DL, NLP. Any one of them is going to be sufficient, guys. Isn't it? So what you have to do is, guys, simple, <clears throat> simple and which is going to be the easy is nothing but ML, anyone, ML, DL stands for deep learning. And which is going to be nothing but what we can see is uh, deep learning or which is going to be what we are going to call it as NLP. So ML, which is going to be DL or which is going to be NLP. So these are going to be some of the, the different, mainly the concepts what we have to learn, guys. Mainly, main important things. Remaining are going to be optional. Remaining are going to be optional, guys. And here it is going to be which we have to study them. So not only this, even there are a lot of other things are also there. As I saying that it is going to be some cloud services. Little bit about the cloud services, we have to learn them, guys. Isn't it? A little bit about the cloud services, we have to learn. And apart from that, not only this one, guys, even something like, like languages like Python and R, these are the some of the languages which we have to implement them. Like that, we have a multiple options we are having them, guys. We are having a, a multiple options what we are having them guys and that is going to be how we have to work with uh, this particular technique what we have to work with them guys so so many things not only this even a little bit about the what we can say guys even a little bit about the unique systems also we require like that everything is going to be available guys each and every option is going to be gets available here now so that is the reason why we are just talking about a, a full stack. Starting from basics of Python, uh, it's a, we're starting with the basics of R language, machine learning, deep learning, NLP, which is natural language processing. So nowadays we are also adding something called as Gen, Gen AI, okay, generative AI plus which is going to be prompt engineering. So these are all going to be some of the, which is going to be the added some more also guys. It's a generative AI and prompt engineering also. So they have been added. So we are not going deep into the uh, prompt engineering and Gen AI in our course. For that, we have a separate batch was there, guys. Completely specialized Gen AI and uh, prompt engineering courses separately. It was there, a separate course was there. 
So in our course curriculum, we are going to discuss the basics of what is Gen AI and what is going to be prompt engineering. So that we are going to discuss them as part of our um, uh, our applications, what we are going to be learning as part of our course curriculum. We are going to learn it, guys. So that is the one um, uh, which we can see uh, as part of that. So as a full stack data science, uh, whenever we are talking about as a which is going to be a full stack data science expert, so you need to. So it is going to be nothing but what we can say is we need to, which is going to be uh, learn all about this, but mainly expertise in any one of them, guys. ML, DL or NLP. Even one more is also there, guys. Even you have to study about the maths and stats. It is not a technical concept, guys. It is a mathematical and uh, which is going to be statistics related concepts. Little bit about Unix. At least some basic, at least some basic, which is going to be um, the things what we have to require it, guys. So basic, at least some basic, uh, the knowledge of which is going to be basic Unix commands. And apart from that, it is also going to be nothing but what we can see is, it is going to be nothing but some, obviously you need to be having some Python and R, uh, some basics of which is going to be cloud services. Uh, we have to work with something like a Power BI and apart from that big data systems. So these are all going to be uh, some of the other things which we are going to work. But as of our, basic criteria guys these are going to be some of the things which we are going to be gets working with them guys so what are those guys machine learning deep learning and nlp so what is this machine learning what is this deep learning what is this nlp all these things we are going to discuss in the later classes right now we don't require them guys immediately we don't require them isn't it at least some basic things only which we have to require in guys so we'll understand them in the in the slowly we are going to understand it guys that is going to be the other part that does not matter with that first of all if you want to learn this data science course if you want to learn this particular data science guys first of all what is the basic important thing which we have to learn is going to be nothing but some programming language it's not a, a programming language guys better to say that it's not a programming language it is a kind of a scripting language is what we have to require in guys. We call it as an, a scripting language, what we are going to call it as guys. Okay. So what is that scripting language? The scripting language is going to be nothing but what we can say is guys, they are nothing but what we are going to call them as an, uh, a Python. It's going to be a Python language is what we are going to be using them guys. So this is going to be the one which we can see guys. And that is going to be, uh, the Python first, we have to start with the basics of Python guys. Okay. So now coming to the, uh, coming to this particular course guys, already this course was already started a few days before guys, already there are 20 plus participants are already registered for this course. Almost all the batch is containing 20 plus students are already there as part of our training of the particular batch. So anyhow, so what generally we do is guys, I'll tell you. Don't worry, the batch is already started means, sir, why, uh, how can you join now? So it is up to you guys. Up to you means nothing is there. We started with a core concepts of Python we have started, guys. It's a core concepts of Python we have started. Nowadays, Python has become a common language, guys. Everyone was able to, uh, nowadays, everybody is learning Python, guys. Almost all, everyone is learning Python, isn't it? So Python has become a common language. Everyone was able to learn Python and everyone is learning Python guys by themselves. They are learning Python. So in my class, I am going to teach a little bit basics of core Python topics. I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you the topics also. So what is my point? What is my point here is guys in this batch that was already started in the last month. It's, it's almost all in the last month it was started, but in the middle, almost all we are having a Dashra holidays of almost all one week of Dashra holidays. Uh, all the basics of demos and all these things. So right now we completed the core concepts of Python we covered, guys. I'll tell you the core concepts. If you are aware about this, that is sufficient, guys. What are the basic types? What are the basic types in Python, guys? Coming to the basic types, we are having integers. We are having a floats. We are having a string. We are having a bool. One topic, guys. Second topic. What are going to be sequences? These are also very basic level in Python, guys. Like what is list? What is tuple? There are seven to eight topics are there, guys. List, tuples, set, dictionaries. 
and after that we discussed about what is going to be conditional and control statements guys normally all of you know that conditional and control statement in every language we have them guys like what is going to be if statement what is going to be if else statement okay and apart from that what is for what is while etc this is common topics guys apart from that in python there is a concept called as an comprehension topic is there and apart from that guys there is something called as an functions concept is there functions guys what is functions topic and apart from that nothing is there guys there is something called as what is modules in python that's it guys these six topics are important it's a very core python guys it is not even advanced python also it is going to be core python topics if you are already having the idea about this guys if you are already having the idea about this just normally you can continue the classes guys from tomorrow onwards because from tomorrow onwards i am going to start the a concept called as numpy module i am going to start with them guys tomorrow i am going to start with the numpy module before that there is a uh, there is a small 15 minutes talk topic is there array module is there first i'll start with the array module these topics are covered guys apart from the two additional topics these are not mandatory there are optional only string class and apart from that one more is going to be it is going to be what about the iterables and what are iterators iterables and iterators these are not mandatory guys only this type basic types sequences conditional control statements what are comprehensions what are functions and what are modules learning these topics is very very easy guys if you already have the idea smoothly you can just you can continue with the regular classes just like normally you can just continue the classes sir what about this ml dl nlp these topics will start in the later classes guys i didn't started anything about them so demo classes what same thing what is our course content how is our course okay so what are the different questions the students the participants will ask so just what is the course curriculum is there duration fees uh, these are all the discussions guys i didn't started with any implementation also if you want i'll give you okay for what then what about the completed classes sir if i don't have any idea about python so what shall i do i don't have any knowledge zero knowledge there also no worries about that why because one or two days only you will feel a little bit new to the concept guys but once you start working with the python everything is going to be very simple language only python is a very simple language to use guys generally in every batch will do it's not only in this batch in every batch after completion of python we'll add some demo sessions because again if you want to start a new batch again it will take one month in the same time if you want to start means four five months it will take it that's why to add up a more and more students to the batch already 20 plus students are already there so little bit we are planning to add extra in you know five students or six students joins also so if anybody because instead of waiting asking them to wait for another five months of time maybe for some people other timings are possible but same timing is required means again they have to wait for five six months they have to wait it that's why so to add to just give some opportunity there what we did is we we add a demo session and if anybody is interested they can join the classes regularly from tomorrow onwards so what about the classes that has been already done there are two options are there guys if you are already having the knowledge of python so no worries you can just simply you can continue the classes guys even if you don't have the idea about that also no worries why because once attend you can attend three or four classes you can attend guys at a free of cost you can attend demo we don't say that immediately you have to register for the course you can attend the class you can see how i'm teaching the class what concepts i'm teaching how depth i'm teaching what level of teaching i'm doing that all these things we can check it out and then you can at you can register for the course after registering the course guys you will get all the whatever the recorded videos will give you guys the recorded videos of the current session whatever i have already taken those recorded videos will give you the access to you from there you can continue you can parallel you can attend the classes and parallelly you can just uh, go through the backup sessions and you can complete of this one or else as a complimentary who registered for the data science course guys we are giving this is my my python is only core python concepts apart from my core python concepts guys there are some other recording videos are there of complete python sessions will be given guys it is a complete python it is not only the basics of python it is a complete python classes are there 
where there may be somewhere around 170 recorded videos. 170 recorded videos which was delivered by Durga sir. These videos are not delivered by me. It is it is delivered by Durga sir. So who is the, uh, the founder of Durga Soft Technologies. So he was an expert in Java and he is having an expert in Python. Almost all he is also having almost all 25 approximately to 20, 25 years of experience. Same as like me. So he is an expertise in Java and Python. So I was an expertise in the data science. So his 120 recorded videos will be given the access as a complimentary. Plus along with that, whatever the classes I have taken in this batch, those particular videos also will be given. Maximum it is not necessary, guys. Maximum for most of the people, they are not necessary. Why? Because nowadays most of the people is having getting a basic knowledge of Python. Plus along with that, even if you even if you don't have the idea also from recorded sessions, you can we can study. Immediately you can start understanding what is arrays, guys. Because almost all in every language we have the arrays concept is there. Maybe one or two days a little bit difficult. I use a Jupyter notebook. What is that Jupyter notebook only? You may, be, may not be able to understand. I'll tell you how to install it and how to open the Jupyter notebook. So once you start working with Jupyter notebook, it's very easy, guys. We can work with them. So first I'll start with arrays. One or two days, anyhow, basics only will be there. Meanwhile, you will adjust to that particular Python discussions. Meanwhile, you can just go through this, the recorded videos, and you can complete these recording videos also. So if anybody wants the demo sessions, guys, <clears throat> already the class demo sessions are already, uh, they're uploaded in the drive. So if you want, I will give you the, just give me a second. <clears throat> just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. Right. So these are going to be the demo videos, guys. Four demo sessions are there. So just if you want to know, that means what has been happened in the, I'm not sharing all the classes, guys. Just the first four demo sessions only, I'm sharing here now. Just you can click on the link, guys. The link directly navigates to YouTube. So this is my first session, guys. Just I'll show you that. Just you can, I can. So you can see these videos, guys. So this is my first introduction class, guys. So whatever, how I have taken your first session, same as it is, it is also going to be the same thing, guys. See, guys, same thing, same application, same concept, just in a different way, maybe I have been discussing about that. Okay, I just, um, I, what I did is I just um, uh, muted that audio. So otherwise you will be having this particular application, guys. See that the same concepts. So like, just like in simple applications, same thing, guys. Whatever I have discussed in your class as a demo, same thing with a, just a, some small, small technical aspects, some kind of a lot of little bit of a technical concepts. And apart from that, just a little bit idea about this, guys. What are machine learning? A basic introduction. I didn't started with any implementation and nothing have been got started with them, guys. Like this, there are four videos are there. If you want, you can just go through the four videos. You can just go through these particular four videos, guys. And you can get that particular, which is going to be what I discussed about that. So just a simple, just a simple terminology is only guys. I didn't started with any practical and implementation. I didn't started with them. Just an idea what I have done, what is the work we have done. So only those things only we discussed about that. So this is the same discussions guys, whatever I have done, just a little bit technical concepts. I've shared the link there guys. You can just go through the link. If you want, just a hardly how many minutes, guys? Hardly one hour time, guys. Hardly. 40.54 minutes, 50.47, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. 59 minutes, guys. 56 minutes. That means almost all one hour time, guys. So just hardly it is going to be four hours time totally, guys. Isn't it? So this is going to be the one which we can see, guys. Apart from that, nothing is there. So if you want, you can just go through the four recording videos. So that you will get some idea about what happened in the four demo sessions. After that, I started with the Python classes, guys. If you already have in the Python knowledge, easily you can just continue the classes, guys. And apart from that, <clears throat> just a minute. Yeah. So you can just, um, uh, which is going to be um, uh, the one which we can see is, you can easily, we can work with an application, guys. Easily, we can learn the Python from my previous recording classes. 
hardly it will take two days or three days to complete of the Python classes, guys. If you already have the idea, well and good, you can continue. If you don't have the idea also, guys, easily we can learn it, guys. Okay. So tomorrow, um, you'll be having a demo session at 9 o'clock only, guys. And regular class timing is at 9.30, guys. So the demo session is 9 o'clock, but regular class is at 9.32, which is 10.30, guys. 9.30 p.m. IST, Indian Standard Time. Two, which is going to be 10.30 p.m. is your standard time, guys. Every regular class will be there. And almost all, it is going to be somewhere around, uh, we'll say four months, guys. But it will be taking almost all six months. You know the concept now, guys. So we have added a lot of topics has been added. So we'll learn something about big data, Power BI, uh, some kind of an, uh, uh, cloud services, a little bit about Linux operating systems, something like that. We don't discuss more details, Linux system, how to set up Linux system in your, in your system and how to practice the Linux command. I don't teach them, but I'll just give you a guidance for that and uh, so that you can learn the remaining things. Even not only this one, guys. Even we'll also discuss about uh, something called as a Git and GitHub also. Even that is also important, guys. What is Git and GitHub? We don't discuss more details into them. I'll just guide you how to learn them and you have to learn it, guys, from any pre-recorded videos or pre-materials, uh, something like a, any materials are available. Using that, we have to learn the things. Okay? So regular class is at 9.30, guys. So tomorrow, you will be having again the class at 9 p.m. We'll have the session. A demo will be there. I'll just discuss a little bit more about that. And my backend team also shares you the 9.30 p.m. The session link also they will share you guys. After completion of 9 a.m., 9, 9 o'clock demo session, I'll take 30 minutes, just a small discussions I'll do. After that, you can join at 9.30 guys. From 9.30 to 10.30, you will be having the class. You can attend for a couple of days. And once you are satisfied with my course curriculum, and if you also go through the demo videos also, you can get some idea about how my discussions, how I'm teaching the concepts. And anyhow, if you join for 9.30, already the class is already started. You will come to know that how deep I'm teaching the practicals, how exactly I'm explaining the concept. You will get some more details about that. Then after two days, you can get registered. You will get the access to the recorded videos. Parallelly, you can continue the classes from 9.30 to 10.30. And parallelly, you can complete of these particular classes also, guys. And it is not a mandatory that, that means uh, we have seen the students now, guys, every batch will do the same thing, guys. After completion of Python, we'll connect a demos so that at least five, six people will add up to the batch. Okay, so it will be good numbers, almost all 25, 26, it will make up the total batch, man, the total batch size. Okay, so that's it, guys. That is for the today's session. So just for today, we'll stop it here, guys. And before stopping the session, so if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, so I can just take some 10, 15 minutes of time and then we can, I can answer your questions and then we can end up the session guys, right? Anyone guys, any questions from your side? If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself and you can speak guys. No questions guys, no one. Okay, guys. So I think uh, no one is uh, posting any questions. Okay, so just for today, we'll stop it here, guys. So tomorrow, we'll we'll connect again back at 9 o'clock only. Okay, uh, again at 9 o'clock, um, we are going to uh, connect tomorrow, guys, as usual. I'll take a demo session for 30 minutes. And then my backend team will share you about the 9.30 batch also. And uh, meanwhile, you can just go through the link, whatever I have shared you the link, guys. The YouTube videos, which I have taken the demos uh, for four demos I have given guys, you can go through the link and just we can watch the videos and then you will get some understanding about what are the basic things I have covered. And after that, these are the Python classes guys. Okay. So that's it for the today's class guys. So thanks for all of you. So thanks all of you to attend in the demo class. So tomorrow we'll see you at the same time at nine o'clock at the same time with the same link for 930. We have to use a different link guys. Regular classes from 930 to 1030 guys. Okay. So thanks all of you for today. We'll meet up in the tomorrow's class. Thanks all of you for today, guys.